Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Too Spooky. We checked out the top 10 best devil fruits last week. That was a good video, that was quite cool. The list wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but the reasoning behind it, spot on, couldn't really argue. So now we're going to check out the top 10 worst devil fruits in One Piece. Let's see what Too Spooky has to say on this, shall we? Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 worst devil fruits awesome. in One Piece. Awesome. Now, I'm sure as most of you know by now, before we get into the list, there are a few things you should keep in mind. Right. The first is that my pronunciation is utterly god awful. Yep, it's awful. So <laughs> Same as me. <laughs> some names or phrases. I do that the all the time. The is that this video will be slightly different than my previous One Piece top tens. The difference is that instead of looking at strength, uniqueness, abilities, and overall usefulness, we will be looking at the lack of these. Oh. So we're going for the weakest, right. worst abilities, right, 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 and how yeah. unuseful they really are. So the we're not looking at how unique they are, because honestly, some of these are so awful <laughs> that they're unique in their own way. <laughs> and in addition to this, we are not going to be focusing on the Devil Fruit users too much this time around. Right, just the actual Devil Fruit itself, right. Cool, cool. However, the Devil Fruit users have a little bit to do with some of them. The final thing is this list will contain at least one of each type of the Devil Fruits to add more variety. Right. So you can expect cool. to see at least one Logia, Paramecia, and his own Devil yeah, Fruit yeah, yeah. on this list. Now we're quickly going to go over the Devil Fruit weaknesses. The user of the Devil Fruit cannot swim after consuming a Devil Fruit. Mm -hmm. will drown. They also fall into a very weakened state while in seawater. Sea Prism Stone has the same effects of a Devil Fruit user as seawater and will weaken them and cancel out their fruit's powers. Yeah. Some Devil Fruits have a natural weakness, such as fire being weak to water. Also, some Devil Fruits, specifically Lovia, are very susceptible to hockey attacks. And now yeah, well, it's the only way to, like, really hurt them, isn't it? To know before going into this, let's get into the list. Number 10, the Numa Numa No Me, otherwise known as the Swamp Swamp Fruit. Oh. This Devil Fruit was consumed by... The Numa it's actually, I thought it was actually quite effective, because he keeps stuff the in there. Create bottomless swamps, which are impossible for someone to escape from. Yeah. If someone is caught by the swamp, they will sink even faster if they struggle. The swamp created can also be used as a storage space. Yeah, yeah, yeah stores stuff in there, yeah, it's quite handy. infinite amount of whatever they want inside their body, including people. Although, I'm a Gatling gun. <laughs> He can use the swamp to drown his opponents if he wishes to instead. Like most of the other Logia users, Karibu cannot be hit or sliced because his element is intangible, mm -hmm. and any attacks will be absorbed into his body harmlessly. Although this one is much more similar to Blackbeard's Devil Fruit, the Yami Yami no Mi. Mm -hmm. See, the Numa Numa no Mi cannot allow the attacks to phase through the body, and instead it must be absorbed. Oh, also, since right. Also, ability is mainly useful because of its ability to store things, Karibu's fighting style consists of storing several weapons like Gatling guns and scythes inside him. Mm -hmm. The major weakness of this fruit is that the user cannot transform back to their original form if they are confined in a space that their normal body cannot fit in. Oh. Because of this weakness, Frankie was able to capture yeah, put him in the barrel. Yeah, yeah. The barrel. <laughs> also, this fruit has yet to demonstrate offensive capabilities other than drowning opponents into the swamp it creates. I suppose it also, is very limited. It's <laughs> just basically earth mixed with water. This makes him vulnerable to individuals who can manipulate water, such as ha, Jinbei. Jinbei yeah, of and course, yeah. due to the fact that this fruit is a Logia, Haki users can bypass his intangibility. By using Haki, yeah. all of that, the user is affected by the standard Devil Fruit weaknesses. So, spoiler alert, this is the only Logia Devil Fruit on this list. Right. And that's because all of the other Logia Devil Fruits are much more powerful. They're much more effective, I suppose. Yeah, 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 when you think in about fact, how that works. In my hmm. top 10 Logia Devil Fruit Ooh. video, I left this one out because it was just so bad. Now, Damn, okay, we're okay. Bad is pretty simple. Literally the only useful thing this fruit has going for it is the fact that it can capture and store items and people inside it. Yeah. This can be used to store basically anything, so any weapon to his liking can be kept inside, and any one he traps is pretty much stuck. And after a person is captured, Karibu has the option to drown them inside him at any moment he chooses. However, not only is this devil fruit pretty bad, but so is the user. Karibu is worthless. <laughs> He's he has pretty no poo. 
outside of the weapon. Yeah, he just keeps turning up. Hasn't he turned up on um, where I'm at now? He's, he's turned up at Wano as well, hasn't he? And he's just in the prison. So if I didn't make it a goal to include at least one of each kind of fruit, this fruit wouldn't be on this list. Because Logias are better in general. However, since I had to choose one... They do have quite the advantage over people. This fruit has the least amount of abilities compared to other Logia. It has no use for combat except for hiding weapons and drowning people if he's lucky enough to capture them. Yeah, if he's lucky enough, yeah. And on top of that, the user is one of the most inexperienced, making the fruit's potential even worse. He should just get back to the barrel where he belongs. Damn. And although this is by far the worst Logia Devil Fruit of all time, this fruit is still much better than the rest of the fruits on this list. Oh, wow. Why it Here we go. This is going to be interesting. The worst. Number nine. What we got? The Awa Awa no Mi. What's this? Otherwise known as the Bubble Bubble Fruit. Oh. This devil fruit was consumed by... Khalifa. This devil fruit gives huh. its user the ability to emit and control bubbles. soap and yeah. bubbles that are created from their body. The bubbles are capable Forgot about this one. Forgot about this. That's how... Uh, but can also yeah. clean off someone's power. The user can essentially drain their opponent's energy with these bubbles and leave them in a clean and shiny state that is extremely smooth. Because of this My God. <laughs> I forgot the they ended up being, yeah. All of their energy, becoming <laughs> immobile and rather slippery. The user can also shield themselves from attacks with bubbles. by condensing these bubbles together around them. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, what? What? Goes through your head when you think of that. However, the user's bubbles with can all the abilities you can think of. By water. Because of this, they're a perfect excuse for fan service. Opponents can be returned to normal by being washed with water as well. Also, although it will not decrease the bubbles' effects, a strong wind will blow them away before they can drain the target. My God, wind and water. Other than these weaknesses, the user is affected also by the standard devil fruit. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to state right now that Khalifa herself is a relatively strong person. She, so the as a person, she's is class. Solely because of her devil fruit. The devil fruit ability now, is. Why is this fruit uh, on here? See, making someone immobile by making them sparkly clean doesn't sound like a bad power at first. So how can it be one of the worst? Well, let's start with a comparison. Okay. As I'm sure most of you know, some devil fruits have a stronger and weaker version of essentially the same type. Yeah. For instance, we have the Magu Magu no Mi and the Mera Mera no Mi. So the magma the and the universe, fire. Lava beats fire. So the Magu Magu no Mi is essentially the stronger of the two fruits <laughs> yeah, yeah. when the users face off against each other. The same idea is implemented with the Awa Awa no Mi, and its stronger, more useful counterpart is the Washu Washu no Mi. Oh, okay. Although we don't know too much about it, the reason why it's better is because Interesting. it's pretty much the same thing so as the So there's a stronger Awa and a weaker no version of each? The user washes mm, people and that. hangs them out to dry like laundry, making them immobile. But on top of that, according to Oda, villains who have been dried get their hearts a little bit cleaner as well. Oh. Their evil hearts become fainter, so that's a dangerous ability against wow. pirates. So it yeah. has this bonus ability. That is handy to... Yeah, it, it makes, makes sense that she uses that in the Navy against the pirates. Wow. The Awa Awa no Mi can do, so it's better. So not only is the Awa Awa no Mi outclassed by a stronger counterpart, but mm. the other reason I believe this Devil Fruit to be one of the worst is because of the weaknesses it has. All you need is to do the ice bucket change. Yeah, and you saw it. Boom, yeah. the effects are gone. <laughs> or hell, get a squirt gun and start shooting Khalifa. She'd be toast because water gets rid of both the bubbles themselves and the effects of the Devil Fruit. On top well, of it's seawater, isn't it, for to put the Devil Fruit? Because the bubbles would drift away isn't it? The wind. Because of both of these weaknesses, I feel like Khalifa would be very ineffective outdoors because of the weather. Say she has to throw down at the basketball court, right? <laughs> she gets her bubbles going, and it starts raining. But then it starts sprinkling and slowly turns. When you put it that way, yeah, this devil fruit is rubbish at it. <laughs> and if she immobilized the enemy, the effects will also be wear off. Up. Yeah. Or it wouldn't even have to be rain too. Say it just happens to be a windy day. Oh my god, yeah, the wind is just blowing off. In the wrong oh. direction and end up hitting some poor kid with a ball. Bottom line, this fruit is still much better compared to the rest on this list. Trust me. But it's a <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait to see what the rest is. Useful. And on top of that, having weaknesses like that to begin with are just nothing but a setback. Because of that, Khalifa scrubs in. At number nine, nine right. Devil fruit. Number eight. The Shiro Shiro no Mi. Otherwise known as 
the castle castle fruit. Oh. His devil fruit was consumed by... I think this is really good. Capone? Devil fruit list? Now like, this is by huh. far the most controversial devil fruit on this list. I was going to say, what? Most of you what? probably what? don't think it should be on no, this list. No, not at all. And won't agree with me. No. But just hear me out. Okay. okay. Although, first, let's find out what this devil fruit Whoa, does, what? shall we? So the main strength of this fruit is that it allows the user to become a living fortress. A castle human. The inside of their body holds many openings, including cannon ports and drawbridges. Deeper inside contains various rooms, mm -hmm. ranging from stone brick rooms for combat to well-refurbished meeting halls, complete with long table, chairs, and even decorations. The user can hold living people inside their body by shrinking their sizes as long as they are within a vicinity, near or in the user. Mm -hmm. When the objects and people within the user reach a certain distance away from the body, shown as a pinkish layer of an unknown aura, centered on the user's location, they don't have to normal size, yeah. To full size. In addition, That's like, it's so good, like what? Because you're not even going to see it coming, and then you're like, whoa. degrees of protection and attack coverage as well as the potential to conduct surprise ambushes. Mm -hmm. The user has complete control over the fortress inside their own body and can telepathically move around and create objects on the inside as yeah. they see fit. They can also manifest features of a fortress on their external body, including tank treads. The user well, then you turn into the castle at one point as well when they're fighting Big Mom. Through a strange fluid as a way to communicate with those inside. However, Capone can also just talk on the outside to be heard. They are also capable of being alert and moving around in the real world while also being in their own body. The fortress can also take structural damage, such as by catching on fire. Although it is unknown how this affects Capone's body. Hmm. Anyone can escape his body should they simply exit through an opening, so the user must monitor prisoners at all times. Other than that, the user is affected by the standard devil fruit weaknesses. Now you probably think now why but the is only it on reason the why list? I feel this is a controversial decision is because Capone can create tank treads on his exterior body. Meaning he could theoretically create other things on his body, like maybe cannon arms or something. But we don't know if that's possible. If he could, that would be pretty cool, and it could make this fruit much more useful. Mm -hmm. But honestly, those tank treads are the only redeeming quality. He turns himself into a castle, didn't he? I'm sure he turned himself into the actual castle. Well, I'll tell you why. See, Capone's abilities rely solely on the fact that he has a pirate crew to be inside him. Huh. What is a fortress without an army? Well, it's just another building. If Capone that's didn't true. Crew, yes. He didn't have anyone by his side. It would just be him. He was alone. His power would be useless. He'd be yeah, it does depend on other people, doesn't it? Huh. Now I was thinking about this. Hmm. Capone can create a smaller version of himself inside himself, right? But we don't know if he can react with anything as his smaller self. If he could, he could just use a cannon inside himself as himself. But still, that doesn't allow you the ability to do much because you are one person that yeah. is inside huh. you put an empty shell. Oh, so he's right. I suppose he could be useful for he's prisoners right. inside of those <laughs> Structure. Yeah. But unless he has a crew to fight inside him, he's he doesn't have anything ruthless. going. Yeah. Okay. Take well. away the army, you take away the power. And if you have no army to begin with, this fruit is as worthless as it can get. Also, if you really Damn. think about it, Karibu is basically a way better component because he can suck people into his swamp and he can store weapons inside him that he can use huh. at any time. However, he doesn't need an army to do it. Also, yeah. he can drown people. Can Capone drown people? Nope. Can he function without a crew? Oh my nope. god. Does he suck? Yep. Due to that fact, Damn. he is just too circumstantial to be useful. And because of that, I believe this fruit is one of the worst. And because of that, this is the eighth worst devil fruit. Okay, Number wow, seven, did not see that coin. unnamed devil fruit ability. Hey. We don't know a whole lot about this guy, his fruit, or his abilities at all. Most of you probably don't even know who the hell this guy is. Yeah, what? Hell, I completely forgot about him until I started researching for this list. So because we know so little, I'll keep this one short and sweet. Okay. Blame Co. has an unnamed ability that allows him to store objects in pockets on his body regardless of the object's size. So it's probably called the Pocket Pocket Fruit or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the storage area is connected to when the does this guy pop up? area. Any limitations to his power are unknown. So far, he has only pulled out a giant mallet from his right chin pocket. So it's hard to really judge a fruit we know nothing about, but to me, this guy is nothing but a crappier caribou 
And that's saying something because that guy is worthless. See, Blameco has the ability to store things just like Hardy. When is but this? instead of being able to drown people, we only know that he can take stuff out of the two pockets on his chin, making his area of access to his storage very limited. Like, what if he can't use his hands? How is he gonna grab? Yeah, he can't grab anything. Yeah. Really, the only thing I feel what? like this. I don't remember this at all, but never mind. If he could store people inside as well, like if he could store a hammer of that size, I think it's possible. Also, this fruit is essentially the weaker version of the castle. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? It is weaker than that. It has the same it's just two pockets. But less openings. Yeah. And there's just so much we don't know about these pockets. Bottom line with this one, it's essentially a worse caribou and capone. Well, there you go, that's the easiest way of doing it. And the only use for this fruit is storing stuff. I mean, you'd never need a backpack again. But that's well, there's that, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> Makes travelling easier. As useful as Mr. Crab's pants with all the pockets. And because of that, <laughs> and because we don't know enough about it to place it any higher or lower, it remains the seventh worst devil fruit. My god. The Shari Shari no me. Otherwise known as the wheel wheel fruit. The wheel wheel this fruit. This devil fruit was consumed by Sharinguru. What the hell is a wheel wheel fruit? Yeah. And who the hell is Sharinguru? Well, Carl, just like the last guy, I forgot about this guy's existence. Huh. And those of you who have watched the anime probably had no clue this devil fruit existed. Huh. Why? Because it was only shown in the manga that Sharinguru had this devil fruit. In the anime, when? he only used a sword. So this is one of the only manga-only devil fruits, guys. Huh. On that note, you can probably already imagine how bad this thing is if it wasn't even shown in the anime. But let's get into what it does. Because the anime seems to just, like, this extend devil fruit stuff. This the user to transform their arms and feet into wheels, making the user a fucking wheel human. <laughs> the only quote-unquote strength of this fruit is that when the user turns his arms into wheels and spins them at high speed, they become spinning weapons that apparently can be used to attack Oh weapons. my god, that's a the terrible so friggin' power man. Oh my god. I don't remember that either. Don't remember that either. However, it appears that when up against metallic-like bodies such as Frankie, these wheels have little to no effect. Well, what about if you just use hacky and just, like, armament, so like... Do I even start? Do I even need to explain why this guy is on this? That's place? awful. This yeah, yeah, it's so fine. This... Well, this guy can turn into an assault wheel, but he's not very powerful, so his power doesn't help him in combat. Doesn't do much, at all. Jesus. I, suppose I mean, if it's just not able to do anything against Frankie, then that people that can use hacky is just like Ugh. because of what he can theoretically do to make himself more powerful. I won't put this guy any higher or lower mm. because honestly, I'd rather be able to have a fucking death wheel arm. <laughs> Void on yeah, the we're just pockets. Do nothing more than hold things. So in the end, I'd be just trying to fill that void with needless things like whatever I can buy, my emotions, my friends, my murder victims, and my Pokemon cards. In the end, though, I just realized I was nothing more than a hollow to begin with, sending me into a deeper, crippling depression that in the end makes me. Ha! Huh, this is getting a bit deep. Yeah, I know. Ah, anyway, the really good for. And you know what that is? A fucking spoon. Oh, no. Because this guy's fruit is completely worthless in pretty much every way unless he grabs some sort of weapon to aid his ability. So I'm honestly surprised there are double fruits worse than this one. But there is. Because there of we all go. that, this we're guy We're not even halfway, are we? As the sixth. Yeah, we're just about, about to get halfway. Number five. Kinemon's unnamed devil fruit. With this unnamed fruit, Kinemon is capable of creating clothing and disguises for anyone. Oh, okay, yeah, I will give you this. Yeah, yeah, Kinemon's a very um, capable fighter, but his devil fruit ability is just being able to give people clothes. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. ...into any kind of clothing or other disguise as long as he can visualize it. Apart from using these as disguises, the clothes... <laughs> He's so cool. ...power can also be used for other conveniences. Such as keeping people warm while in a cold yes. environment. This ability is dispelled if the clothes are removed. With this, he is affected by all the standard devil fruit weaknesses as well. Okay, now. Kinemon himself is a pretty strong yeah, guy. Yeah, he is. So he can hold his own. But this devil fruit it's awful, isn't yeah. that great, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, like, his sword ability is class. Like, what? It can cut through fire? Like, whoa. <laughs> but let's look at why. At least with the wheel guy, and even the storage guys... 
they had some sort of purpose. Now honestly, I can't think of any way this brew would be useful in an everyday situation. Yeah, you never need to buy clothes. Yeah, in. there's that. Yeah, you can wear literally whatever you want. It's, it's just handy yeah, for the infiltration stuff, isn't it? It's like, let's give now, them this ability so they've got the excuse. That's it. As far as we know, this fruit is limited to clothing. Because so that's the dress Rosa rock, like isn't it, when they're sneaking in? Like However, if he could, hell, I'd take oh him my in a god, yeah, could my you imagine? Being a master of disguise. Uh. That's it, out of uses. However, that is not the only reason I think this fruit is bad. The other reason is because of what you need to make the clothing. You need a rock or a leaf. Now, unless you have oh, pockets forgot about that. in your neck with an unlimited amount of these, you're at a disadvantage if you run out. Like, I get rocks and leaves are pretty much easy to come by, mm -hmm. but unless you always have one, this ability is worthless, because without a rock, you can't even use the ability. Damn. So, like pretty much all the rest, this devil fruit becomes very circumstantial because of the items. See, I can just go to the store and buy clothes, and those ones won't even disappear when I yeah, take them when you're off. Yeah, when you're done, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that. Kinemon poofs in with the fifth worst devil fruit. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. The berry berry no me. Otherwise known as the berry berry fruit. This devil fruit was consumed Who, who was this? Very good. Yet another forgettable character. Huh. And what the hell kind of name is very good. Come on, Oda. I don't. Anyway, I can't wait to get into this one. This devil fruit allows the user to transform their body parts into many different shaped orbs or spheres that are shaped like the round parts of, of the berries. berries. Right. Making the user a grape human. Are you serious? A fucking grape human? <laughs> My god, how much worse can this list get? Don't even get me started, man. But continuing on... Don't remember this one either, but alright. That's right only, is that the user is apparently immune to blunt attacks while in the berry form. Oh. These berries can all float off the ground as well. And unfortunately for very good here, the user is not immune to sharp objects. It also seems like the user can only transform his whole body at once into these spheres, instead of individually. Right. It is also shown in the anime that the user is completely defenseless if their head is caught. Other than that, the Jesus, user it, is also that's bad. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. What are the others then? How does it get worse? Honestly, How does this get worse? <laughs> me to put him on the list. He makes the wheel guy look good. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is how, yet again, this fruit is one of the fruits that has a stronger counterpart. Which is the Barra Barra no Oh! See, with Buggy, that makes sense. He actually has the opposite weakness where he is weak to blunt attacks, while very good here is weak to sharp slashing attacks. So you'd think, huh, they must be about equal, right? <laughs> Wrong! See, now with Buggy, Buggy can he actually have the downfall where his feet have to stay on the, on the ground. ground. Yeah, but but Buggy can control each individual part. Yeah, like that guy can't. And he doesn't right. have to split his whole body to use his power. He can selectively choose which parts to split or split them all. Well, I can't wait to see what they do with Buggy in the future. I love that he's like, uh, he's up he there in the hierarchy head, now. He's completely done for. So to me, very good is the weaker and less useful of the two. Definitely. The next thing is that this guy is a fucking grape human. You telling me that sounds scary. That sounds powerful. <laughs> the intimidation's unreal. Unreal. Side note, I wonder if that means this guy is literally an edible grape. If that's could true, you eat him? Oh, he could take eat his power. If he was stranded. If that's true, Dangerous if you already have a devil fruit. Useful possibility. Holy shit. So the only way this guy can use his power is to separate in defense or throw his grape self at others to try and attack them. And his grapes Terrible. aren't even strong. You can just punch it out of the way. And if you have some sort of sword, fucking see you later, mate. Very good is very dead. Because he's a useless grape. Because he isn't strong. Because there is a stronger fruit counterpart. And because he has a huge weakness, which is his own head and swords. Very good has one of the very worst devil fruits. Specifically, the fourth. Number three. Right, what we got? Epiota's unnamed devil fruit. Epiota here is another guy I forgot about. So pretty much everyone on this list, except for like two. But anyways, he can transform into a massive caterpillar-like creature. In this form, he can retain his human head and hands. Wow. But grows caterpillar-like sections <laughs> wow. on his chest. With the colored stripes of his shirt seemingly merging with them. And also, larger, more rotund forearms. So this guy 
has an unnamed Zoan fruit that allows him to become a, a caterpillar. caterpillar. Wow. Are you for real? What the hell is a caterpillar going to do to me? I'll tell you. Nothing. nothing yeah, yeah. Now, if this devil fruit could, you know, become a butterfly somehow, that would be. Much I was thinking better. that. That'd be awesome. Still yeah. Can't see it being good, even if he could become one. At least you'll fly. Are generally very weak because of how soft they are. So really, we just have to step on this guy or feed him to a bird to take him down. As far as Zoan fruits go, this one takes the cake as one of the worst. Nothing sounds less threatening than a fucking caterpillar. And I guarantee almost any other devil fruit would be able to go up against this guy and win with no issues. Now, I'm aware Zoans give a little boost to strength. But caterpillars aren't strong, so that boost has to be almost non-existent. And because of that, this fruit makes the top three of the worst devil fruits in one piece. Damn. Number two. What is one going to be? The Jockey Jockey no Me. Otherwise known as the Jacket Jacket Fruit. This oh, yeah. Is consumed by Kelly Funk. This was during the Dress Rosa arc, wasn't it? Yeah. This devil fruit allows the user to become a jacket that can be worn by others. Yeah. Which makes him a jacket human. <sighs> so strange. A fucking jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this fruit's main strength is that it allows the user to become a full skin jacket that others can wear. Humans or animals. The user can then control the wearer's body and gain their abilities. Potentially increasing their strength. I mean that's cool weaken. that he used it on the that person still but it still... Is based off of like you know it depends on who you are being worn by the way. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? For all uses shown, this ability seems to require another person or creature as a wearer, and it is not Again, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's it's rubbish by itself, isn't it? Yeah. Also, as the user's displayed power requires another to wear them. It seems that they need a willing host. Other than that, this fruit shares the standard double for weaknesses. So right off the bat, this fruit is useless without another person. Yeah. Just like Capone, which automatically makes this fruit one of the worst because it's a weird it's one, isn't it? Yeah. It is very but circumstantial. This one That's the really way. Yeah. Takes the cake. Why? Because you need a willing person or creature, for that matter, to put you on. You can't force it's weird to that as well. Your sick jacket activities. Hey. The other problem with this fruit is the fact that this strength increase can really only come from someone who is stronger than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd so have if someone <laughs> can't just wear, have anyone wear you. It would essentially have the reverse effect and make him weaker instead of stronger. So this fruit could even backfire if the wrong person wears him. There's just too many problems. Really On top is. Of yeah. that, I must say the jacket fruit has to be one of the dumbest ideas on this list. And I thought the grape and wheel it, guys were really For when it was stupid. brought in was this, cool. Like the whole tournament anymore. thing going on, the different devil fruit abilities going on and different people and that Jr. was cool. A giant put Kelly on. And we've seen that Kelly can stretch, but we are still unsure if he can stretch that far. But anyway, if he could, yeah, that would be pretty cool and strong and all. But even that possibility is just too circumstantial. Yeah, it is, yeah. He can stretch that far. We just don't know. We just don't know. So bad. But nothing. I mean, nothing is worse than the last fruit. On Here we this go. List. What's this? And the moment that you've all been waiting for. Number one. The Hito Hito no Me. Otherwise known as the Human Human Fruit. Oh, this of course. Fruit was consumed by Chopper. Tony Tony Chopper. This fruit allows the user to turn into a human. By consuming the fruit, Chopper has been given human intelligence, allowing him to understand and communicate in human language. Yeah. The fruit has also given Chopper the ability to understand... If you were a human and you ate it, it would just make you incapable of swimming, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> and language. It also allows him to transform into human slash reindeer hybrid forms. The fruit is further strengthened by the use of the rumble ball. This drug allows yeah, Chopper but to again, it's not the fruit itself, is it? Human and reindeer proportions. The rumble ball can come with consequences to the powers. Oh my God! Yeah, when he first did that, it was scary. It's like, no, no, Chopper, no, you're so cute. The main weakness of the fruit is that the forms it gives him 
do not outright resemble humans and are often mistaken as something else. An example is his human form being mistaken for a gorilla. Mm. This is what originally alienated Chopper from both deer and humans alike. Oh. However, despite this, one advantage of this is that Chopper can easily hide from enemies while in a form they have not seen before. This fruit's ability is not effective for humans, as if one ate it, they will not gain any abilities, but all the weaknesses of a normal devil fruit. Yeah, so and why would you bother? My god, can you imagine not knowing that it's that? And he does not have a specific you eat it thinking you can get this mad ability, and then you go out to sea, and you're like, oh no, I'm just drowning. So if you've seen my top 10 Zoan devil fruit video, you'll know that I placed Chopper rather high on that list. So how can huh. I possibly claim that that same fruit is the worst of them all? You want to know why? Because this fruit is only useful to animals. Yeah. And the chances of an animal finding and consuming it are next to nothing. That's, it's very low. Yeah, yeah, yeah very low. But this fruit could do literally nothing if a human ate it, except to give them all the standard devil fruit weakness. So yeah, I get where he's coming like, from. It's the devil fruit itself that he's put there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if some poor yeah. chap happens to eat this human human fruit, his Olympic swimming career would now be impossible. Mm -hmm. Because this fruit is one of the most circumstantial of them all, because if any human were to eat it, they would just gain a bunch of weaknesses. Although it has been proven to be very awesome and useful fruit to an animal like Chopper, but the fact that this ability is limited to animals alone is just too circumstantial. Yep. And the fact that there is a devil fruit out there that has the possibility of having absolutely no abilities, it's just gone it's on. crazy, yeah. And because of that, I believe this fruit is the worst devil fruit of them all. But Makes sense. There you have it. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Top ten worst devil fruits in one piece. Boom. Yeah, that list was interesting. Like uh, at first, I was a bit like, "Whoa!" But then, yeah, the explanations are there. Like the fruits, some of those fruits are really heavily dependent on like other people's participation, and uh, yeah, that's too circumstantial for it to be high up. So yeah, and I do agree with Chopper's devil fruit. Like Chopper himself, absolutely the boss. But yeah, person eats that fruit, ain't nothing happening. So yeah. That's cool. I'm going to check out top 10 wasted devil fruits next week. Thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video I upload, links in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month or less helps support the channel. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, and already leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. All you guys. Next time.